Now to the fight for freedom in Cuba. Three South Florida women went on a hunger strike, demanding that the United Nations intervene in the situation in Cuba. They also asked them to send more aid to the country, now dealing with an outbreak of COVID-19. All three of those women ended up in the hospital as a result of that. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo has more. She joins us live here in the studio. Jessica. That's right, Carly. Now, one of the women had since left the hospital, and this evening she tells us it was a tough journey not eating for eight days, but she can only imagine what her family goes through every single day on that troubled island. Where we are in a hunger strike for our Cuban people. They are killing our families. They are in the hospitals without medicine, without even oxygen. We need the world to know. I need your help. Spread the world. Sitting across the United Nations in New York City, these three Cuban women from Miami traveled miles and went on a hunger strike for those over on the troubled island that have been silenced. I need to know that our families are in danger. Over in Cuba, not much has been known since hundreds of Cuban people took the streets, demanding for freedom, basic human rights, and for the end of 62 years of a communist dictatorship. Our families are dying right now. These three women say thousands have now disappeared and their families remain starving, which is why for a period of eight days, they did not eat and only drank water. I keep fighting. Cuba needs us. All three of the women ended up needing medical attention. Eight days, very tough. Every day was a new challenge. Every day was different, but everything was worth it. Johnny Navarro, who leads the organization Cubans United for Freedom, along with other activists, were hoping the United Nations would come speak to them. It came to the point to where they go to seek medical attention. And nobody here cares. Yami Belir, who has since left the hospital, says they need the United Nations to intervene. We all think that United States, United Nations is the only one that can help us. We need help. It's terrible what happened in there. And stay with us at 11. You'll hear from a Cuba expert who tells us more on what's going on in Cuba. Back to you, Carly.